I'm Stoic Dan. We are reaching a point in the pandemic when you may consider traveling again. So I've got some tips for you from a philosophical angle. If you're a Buddhist, you may ask yourself, what is my intention for traveling? If you follow Ralph Waldo Emerson, you might ask yourself, does this trip offer some personal transformation? And if you're a minimalist, you might decide in advance what purpose or fulfillment does this trip offer, regardless of the cost. Now finally, if you're a Stoic, there are many ways you can look at this trip. Think about how people are going to be difficult and have tolerance. If you're going to a foreign country, realize that people may not speak English. Some countries may not have food that works for you or food that even makes you sick. And the unexpected. If you're traveling to high altitude, be ready for high altitude sickness. There are lots of ways of looking at a trip. But overall, Stoics have learned long ago that you must remember traveling does not allow you to escape from your troubles. Seneca was famous for writing about this. In Letters from a Stoic, letter number 28, Seneca writes, Lands and towns are left astern. Whatever your destination, you will be followed by your failings. Here is what Socrates said to someone who was making the same complaint. How can you wonder your travels do you no good when you carry yourself around with you? Thanks for watching. <laughs>